Hello everyone, this is Rick from Rick's Video Game Collection. And we are doing the Xbox 360 game collection right now. Oh. Surprisingly, I got all that picked up at once. Here I go adding the game to it. But anyway, um, most of these I have not played. And that's mainly due to the fact that I just don't like the controller design so eventually I probably will try them out just to say yeah I played all of them but I really never did like the Xbox controller design so that's the whole reason why I just haven't played them so anyway with that said we have 50 cent blood on the sand And then we have some of these covers I printed off myself too. So if they look a little bit on the uh, either uh, out of focus side or per se uh, the cover didn't fit all the way or something like that, like this one here, Aliens vs. Predator, you can tell this part just ain't exactly quite all the way there. But this side you can really tell. And of course, the game case ain't a uh, Xbox case, but some of them are like that. And that's usually the ones I got the covers for. There are some exceptions, though. And then we also have Assassin's Creed 2. And then we have Assassin's Creed Revelations. Printed this cover off, so if it's a little out of focus and off, that's why. Don't ask me how my brother had so many games that didn't have uh, covers to them, but that's why. Basically, I had to print some. Then we have, I bought most, most every one of these off my brothers. There are like a few of them that I bought through Lukey Games, or I want to say I bought one of Big Lots as well. And there was a few from GameStop. But anyway, most of them came from my little brother. And Batman Arkham Asylum. Then we have Battlefield Bad Company 2. Beowulf the game. As you can tell, I printed that one off. And this one's going to be, you'll be able to tell I printed it off too, but anyway. Bioshock 2. And some of these, I can say it's not too bad for a jet printer. If I had a laser printer and a uh, probably a better picture even, they probably would have came out better. But anyway, Call of Duty Black Ops. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And then we have probably the best one I've tried on the uh, Xbox here. And that is Dante's Inferno. And then there's Darksiders. And I do have a 10X, so I haven't really tried this game out. Or any of the other Kinect games I got. I think, uh, yeah, there's two more besides this one. But anyway, there's DECA Sports Freedom. And we have Destiny. <laughs> and DJ Hero. Which I cannot do these games either, by the way. But they was in the uh, ones I bought off my brother. <laughs> DJ Hero 2. Also had the turntable, if y'all's wondering. I think it's the one that came with DJ Hero 2, to tell you the truth. Though. 
This one I believe I bought off the Luki Games. Don King presents Prize Fighter. And I haven't played it yet, but this one will probably be one of the ones I go back and try to play the Xbox 360 just for that reason. I like boxing games, and I like beat 'em up games, and I love um, wrestling games. So that's one to look forward to. And we have Dragon Age 2. And then Fallout New Vegas. Some of the Fallout games I've gotten into, but others not so much. Then we have Fear 3. And uh, I'm told John Carpenter had something to do with this game. So... That one's like on the uh, ones to play as well. And then we have Fear Fowls. I printed this cover, by the way. If y'all couldn't tell, there's a good indicator. And then we have another game that caught my eye at a GameStop. Fighters in Cage, or Uncage, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's Uncage. I should have read that a little bit better before I said that. Even though this ain't the original case to it. <laughs> we have uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. And then we have Halo 3. Halo 3 ODST. I don't know if that's supposed to be pronounced or not pronounced, so I'm just going to say ODST. The last Kinex game that I have <laughs> Hulk Hogan's Main Event. <laughs> it don't even look that much of a good game on the back. <laughs> Alright, so that's why I'm laughing. This one I couldn't find a uh, cover for it, but I did find a good picture, and I think it does the job. But it's uh, Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days, and of course this is one I printed. And then we have the Left 4 Dead 2. Legendary, which was kind of all right of a game. Mafia 2, I played a little bit of this one. It was a pretty awesome compared to uh, the original Mafia game I played on. I want to say it was PlayStation 2. It may have just been PlayStation, though. Alright. We got one of these, but not the other. But we do have a manual for the game I got, which is Marvel Ultimate Alliance. And, of course, the game I got, too. The other one I don't have as well. But the cover I didn't have to print either. So, anyway, eventually I will have to buy this game to complete this one. But it's a Marvel Ultimate, Ultimate Alliance and Forza, I'm going to say, 2 Motorsport. Is the other game on that? And then we have Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition. Needs a needs a new cover. Or a case, I'm sorry. Busted out right there. And I also need a manual for this game. And I still have came to um, this got some busted out piece on the uh, case right here, but it's not back. It's like it's been chewed up a little bit around here. Here's where I'm referring. I know y'all can't see it, but anyway, Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. I just hadn't really. Brought myself to try this game either. 
it's probably the only Minecraft game I own at the time, but it's like, do I try it or do I not? I hear good things, I see all right things, and then I hear bad things as well. Anyway, from there we have St. Rose 2, or Saints Row 2, let me get that right. Saul. And then we have, I want to say this is just the regular crappy edition, uh, not the crappy edition, <laughs> the crappy game of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, I don't know if they want to say it's a remake or what, but I know one of these uh, Sonic the Hedgehog games that came out not too long ago, it was like really, really crappy. I don't know if that was the one. Or not though. Then we have Xbox 360 Family Games. Glad they pointed that one out. <laughs> but anyway, uh, looks like Sonic's turned into a werewolf on this one. Sonic Unleash. And, oh, I'm sorry. See what I mean right here? Bought this one at a yard sale, and it's pretty alright game. For what it was, uh, this is the first one I've ever played of the series. I haven't played any of the other ones, but it's uh, Soul Calibur 5. From there, uh, this one actually bought a big lots. <laughs> and I tried it out, and it's alright, but I think it could be better, like on 360, not 360, but um, PlayStation 3. They have a version, I just haven't got it yet. But, uh... MMA or Supremacy MMA. I would think it's Supremacy MMA. I might have that backwards though. And we got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas. Turok. Had to print that one. If y'all if couldn't tell, there's the back side. <laughs> This one I heard good things about. I haven't played it though. Wet. Then we get into the last three, which are wrestling games. WWE 12. Randy Orton on the cover. Then we got WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 featuring ECW. Got Triple H and Shawn Michaels on the cover. And WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 has Edge, Undertaker, John Cena, Randy Orton, and Rey Mysterio. And oddly enough, there's still the only at Walmart sticker on this. <laughs> but anyway, here you are, go guys. Funny, I, I think this game came out in other places as well. I don't think it was only at Walmart. But anyway, oh, I get that. I get what they're saying now. It's uh, exclusive, unlockable, playable arenas inside. So apparently they got the uh, Walmart arena up in there. <laughs> and from what I'm seeing, it must have been downloaded to the disk or something because I do not see an unlockable code. It's not on the back either, so. Hey, I got an idea. Nope, not on the back of the sticker either. So apparently, um, <laughs> apparently I will never get to see Walmart Arena. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed.